And joining me now in studio is Maureen Gabriel. She is one of the three employees that were fired from the National Inquiry this past week. She was hired as a community relations manager in June and was working with families in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon, Maureen. First of all, can you tell us why you were fired? It's not clear. I. I, I don't have an answer to that because I haven't received the response back yet from anyone at the Commission. So how were you told then? In an email with an attachment with, without a note, without correspondence. Hmm. How are you feeling about this, about the inquiry now? It, it begs me to question what really is the intent of and purpose of the inquiry besides taking statements of family members. Do you feel that you've done something to, to cause them to fire you? If speaking directly, directly to a commissioner is cause for dismissal, then that I question, well, what in my capacity was my role? Then if, I, if as a frontline worker I couldn't speak to the issues or make recommendations to senior officials within the organization. So my role as a community relations person or liaison was to ensure that important information we came across with regards to family members or the process um, was noted and in actioned internally for um, a director or even the commissioners to respond appropriately. So we look at the bigger scope of, of um, the communication internally. Um, I didn't feel at some point a week and a half ago that my job was valid. How do you feel about all of the firings that have happened so far? Well, it's not surprising. Um, there's a lot of um, disregard internally. Um, well, there is, I could say, um, not a clear HR process. There's very little communication, um, right? And that speaks to the greater issue of um, internal relations. Um, it was a toxic environment to work in. Um, as, a, as a community relations person, and a community relations manager, um, we go into these events that requires us to address public, address public concern, and address the needs of families first and foremost. Um, an example is we went into a community event. Um, we're guided by direction of community leaders and families, and we sit in an intense session, a six hour sharing circle and we were still expected to come back into our homes and, and be well. So there isn't a, a debriefing, there is no support as an employee of the National Inquiry. Um, instead we're at, we're, I've, I had to answer to a barrage of, of um, concerns that we were late for an opening ceremony and simple explanation was our plane couldn't land due to bad weather. So where does that leave me as an employee if I don't feel supported, but yet I have to answer to the care um, and support of family members? So Maureen, what would you like to see happen next with the inquiry? Um, a complete halt. I, I don't have confidence internally um, with, the, with the organization internally and the way staff is is handled or staff issues are being handled. Um, my biggest concern is um, the health and support of family members. Um, we talk about the aftercare plan, um, but there, there, I don't have confidence that there is uh, a framework or governance in place to administer an effective plan. So a complete halt to address all those issues? A complete halt, overhaul. Um, to the extent that maybe the commissioners need to step down. All right. We'll leave it there, Maureen. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Thank you. And we would like to hear what you have to say about this or any other story. Here's how to contact us.